What's going on everybody, Super 46 here, back again for another video. And in today's saga, uh, we are going to be doing a tune-up on the 46. And what that's going to entail is the long-awaited oil filter um, replacement in the German Auto Solutions CCV system. I know I've had a few subscribers asking for that, so I'm gonna do that video. That is going to be a separate video. So at the, end, at the end of this one, you can think of this video as an intro. Um, at the end of this intro video, you're gonna have the option to select um, a playlist. And then in that playlist, you'll be able to go through and pick which videos that you wanna see regarding this tune-up. Um, and so in this tune-up, what you can expect is, like I said, the oil, uh, the oil filter uh, replacement in the CCV German Auto Solution System. It's gonna be very easy. Um, and then on top of that, I'm going to be replacing the oil filter housing gasket, um, all the oil sensors on the 46, and I'm also gonna be doing something a little different that I'm pretty excited about is I picked up this Cliffix um, oil filter housing check valve. So the one that comes in the 46 is actually made out of this kind of nylon plastic material like a lot of stuff on BMWs. This one's actually made out of steel. Uh, came from a company out of Ukraine. Surprisingly, it got here pretty quick. Um, and this is really the only company that's making something like this. I've looked around all over trying to find um, something because you guys know I'm always trying to uh, improve whatever whatever components I have on the 46. And you know, I found ones where this outer part was metal, but then the inner part was still um, nylon or composite, plastic, etc. And so this one's actually full steel all the way through. So it's either steel or aluminum. Pretty sure it's steel. Um, but yeah, excited about that. It comes with a gasket as well. You can pick this part up on Amazon. You can go to their website directly or eBay. So in all those, basically all those types of websites. So we got that. And of course, we're going to be doing an engine flush like I always do. I'll have the Liquid Molly products that I'll show you guys as well in the following video. Um, but that's it. Let's go ahead and get into it. And like I said, at the end of this, click that playlist or click the um, video, whichever one you guys want to see next. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So one part of this job that I have not been able to find any videos on is how to get this check valve out of here. Um, see, mine's kind of messed up. Basically, what you're gonna want to do is put a flathead inside of here. And you're just gonna pry up on one side, pry up on the other side, until eventually it comes loose. Pry this out one by one, and you'll see it start coming out slow. And then eventually, you can just pull it out by hand. And there you have it. There's your old beat up, warped check valve with plastic on the inside. So let's go ahead and get this Cliffix one in. And we'll see how it works. So now we're going to clean up our dirty oil filter housing. And then we'll be ready to put in that new check valve. All right, guys, got the oil filter housing completely off. Um, as you guys saw, uh, put some degreaser on it. Took the gasket out. So you can see there's no gasket. Also, was able to get that check valve completely out. So we're going to go ahead and get our Cliffix. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, kill fix, something like that. We're going to get that check valve put in. Okay, so here we are near the end of the oil filter housing repair slash engine flush and a bunch of other stuff. Here in the end of this job, we've got this Cliffix check valve upgraded. I think it's stainless steel or aluminum, something like that. So we're going to go ahead and try to put this on. Here you can see we've got a Cliffix on the left, the upgraded one, and our uh, old one on the right. Big difference. So we're going to go ahead and put this in, and I can already look at that and tell it's going to make it. Now the orientation this doesn't seem to matter because there's an opening on each way. So I'm just going to put it in like so, and we should be good. Fingers crossed. I'm going to put the gasket on now and everything should be perfect. Last but not least, we've got our genuine BMW oil filter housing gasket. Now, this should be able to fit. It does almost look like it's a tighter clearance around there now because that thing's a little bit bigger. So we may have to use the gasket that came with that 
with the Cliffix uh, check valve, but we're gonna try putting this in first, see how it works. You wanna make sure you put a little bit of oil on this too. Keep it, uh, keep it smooth. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, gasket's gonna go on like so. So what we're gonna do is add a little bit of oil to this. I'm just gonna take the, uh, one of the sensors I just took off and just coat the outside of that and oil. We should be good. Gasket and our check valve installed. Now that's it. It's time to put everything back on and see how she runs.